In this video tutorial, we will look at building a schedule in the DM Group Elementary Scheduling application. We'll assume you've already completed setup and are ready to start scheduling. To learn more about setup, see our other videos on the topic. Go to Master Schedule to get started. When starting a new schedule from scratch, simply drag the blocks from the palette onto the schedule at the desired time. You can also drag blocks already on the schedule to different times, or drag them back to the palette to make room. Blocks move in five minute increments. If you need to move a block more precisely, hold down the shift key while dragging to move by one minute increments. We suggest starting with the most constraining blocks first, and we've actually sorted them that way for convenience. This usually means starting with morning meeting and dismissal if you've specified them, then scheduling the specials block since they need to be staggered by grade to allow teachers to move from grade to grade through the day. The specials column is helpful to visualize a typical specialist day. Lunch and recess are usually next as there may be specific constraints in how these are scheduled. We usually continue with core blocks such as ELA and math to make sure these can occur during uninterrupted times. Intervention and enrichment is another block which may require staggering by grade to allow support staff to move from grade to grade through the day. Continue until all of the blocks from the palette are on the schedule. As you noticed, we specify the schedule for an entire grade. This means that there will be opportunities for regrouping students across grades as they all have the same schedule. It also ensures more equity in minutes of instruction received. If you need to specify a different schedule by section, click on the grade header to access section scheduling. Here, you will be able to move blocks independently for each section of a grade. When you return to the master schedule, you will see the changes. Just note that any period that is split by section is only movable within the section page. If you specified that your homeroom schedule was different by day, you will see tabs for each day at the top of the schedule. In this case, specify the schedule for each day separately. Click the Copy Day button to copy the schedule from one day to one or more days. Don't worry about saving your work. Every change you make is saved automatically. To learn how to experiment with multiple versions of your schedule, watch our next video, Working with Scenarios. I hope this gave you a good introduction to creating your master schedule. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or suggestions using support at dmgroupk12.com.